bring in Dr. Lisa Barrett. She's an infectious disease specialist. She joins us now to talk about this. Thanks for your time. Good morning. So 7 million people have died over the last three years, up to 1,000 still dying across the world every day. This has taken really quite a toll on all of us. Absolutely. And I, I, I think it's important for us to remember that Dr. Tam did not say that stable meant gone. Um, importantly, I think it would be remiss of us not to point out that there's, you know, there really is more to life than deaths. And as important as that is, we also don't still understand much of what happens after people get COVID. It, it's a disease that can have long-term impacts on many people. So we still have a lot we don't know. We still have a lot of people getting infected. And by no means are we done with the pandemic. We're done with waves, but not the pandemic. Yeah, I actually wanted to remind people that we have the immunity, but I guess what experts are saying, we don't think COVID will die out. COVID's not going to die out. It is still causing deaths in many vulnerable pe people, including elderly people at rates that we aren't seeing highlighted. And, and that points out not the need for lockdowns, but really a couple of things. One, uh, it may be very reasonable for people to not want to get infected, um, mainly because they may want to protect vulnerable people around them, or two, because we don't understand the long-term impacts yet of COVID on many people, maybe as many as one in 10 people in the population, long-term side effects beyond lungs. So we don't know that stuff yet. We need a lot more research on immunity. And until we get that, it's very reasonable for people to not just accept that they're going to get infected over and over and still do all the things they can while still living to limit their infective risk. Does that mean, do you think that we will need new vaccine derivatives? We've seen vaccines get updated and we've get, seen the boosters get updated. Do you think that work will need to continue? That work absolutely needs to continue. But the other work that needs to continue is to understand these are, don't get me wrong, these vaccines are exquisitely effective, more so than we would have ever thought possible. But there's also a gap. We don't know who they work less for, for how long they work in some vulnerable people. And if we don't keep understanding how to go from really good vaccines up to great vaccines for each individual person, that research has to continue or we're not gonna get the most out of it. So are we likely to need updated or different or you know, optimized, what I call optimized vaccines and optimized timing? Yes, and we need to continue that research. If we stop now and accept what we have, then we're going to fall short of having the best outcomes for both vulnerable people and our populations. I'm not gonna move away from saying we don't understand the long-term side effects of COVID well yet. Very quickly, because you had touched on this already, we made some pretty big leaps in the world of science because of COVID-19. How will that help us moving forward? Well, it's helped us learn how to collaborate better. It's helped us learn how to share data better, but we need to keep going on that. And, and it also needs the political will and funding to not just say, we know everything, let's move on and ignore this. We need money for continued research on immunity, on the long-term impacts of COVID, on the social health parts of COVID. But we also need to remember that some people may well want to know if they have COVID and to be able to avoid it if they can. So all the measures at a public health level, like being able to stay home when you're sick through work days, like being able to test yourself, are still really, really important for personal health. We can't forget that yet. We're not out of the pandemic. We're in the stable phase of a pandemic. That doesn't mean we can forget it. Dr. Barrett, good to have you on this. Thanks very much for your time.